It's time for your daily crypto update with Framework Fortune Crypto. I'm your host, Ben. Let's dive in. So before we get into the market today and the drops that we're seeing, I wanted to talk about a article that I just read over on theblockcrypto.com, U.S. House Republicans campaign armed to accept crypto donations. Now, could this be a political stunt for votes? Of course it could. Either side is very good at doing political stunts. But this is a step forward that some representation in our government are willing to accept crypto as payments. The more governments embrace cryptos, the better off I think they will be instead of fighting against them. Like we just saw El Salvador make Bitcoin their legal tender. And of course, they tried to get the central banks to help them and the central banks rejected them. Why would the central banks do that? Pretty obvious. They do not want cryptos out there because we've seen China already ban them and several other countries. And it's mainly the countries of governments who do not want to lose control over currency. Because if they don't control the currency, then they don't have any actual power. Why do I say that? Because how do they take your money? They tax you and they control that money that they tax. The Federal Reserve can print more money. There's all types of different things that they can do that manipulates the currency supply. Hence why cryptos were born in the first place. Because governments tend to overreach or do stupid stuff. <laughs> that is my opinion, but I have a lot of history to back up that opinion. But anyway, they're accepting the crypto donations and it gets changed into cash through BitPay. So they are just getting cash. But this is a small, small step in the right direction for the U.S. government. Now, also in the news headlines, Grayscale Bitcoin Trust is looking at other coins as investment ETFs, including Polygon, Matic, and Solana. So we still are getting some positives out of the headline news for the crypto markets. But at the moment, Bitcoin, along with the rest of the market, pretty much has seen another pullback. This pullback is a little sketchy. I was not really wanting to see this. The areas I wanted to see held up have all cracked. So they're going down to the next support level. Bitcoin's down to the 35,000 area again, but it held up back through here quite a bit. And there's also a bit of a trend line starting to form if Bitcoin can hold up in this area. So if we start to get an uptrend on these, we could see bounces off. If this uptrend cracks and we start pushing down, cracking more support, then we're probably going to have another very big leg down in these crypto markets so be prepared if you're swinging to see that especially if the stock market opens up monday and continues to drop because the stock market drops seemingly so does cryptos ethereum having a pretty tough day here it's pulled all the way back down to that 2150 area dropping below this higher low we were making there and even dropping below this low so that is a little sketchy on Ethereum. It's very bearish on this four-hour chart. Let's go to the daily chart and see how bearish it is there. Yeah, so the 20-day is coming down to the 100. If it cannot hold on that 100 and start to come back up, then it will drop down to the 200. And you can see the price is almost down to the 200 as it is. So if that 20 gets down to the 200, we could see Ethereum even lower. Now, I do still think it's a buying opportunity under 2,000, uh, maybe even at 2,000. So Waves is at the top of the list today, only up 2.81%, but looking pretty good on the daily chart pattern. Had that big spike that we saw the other day, almost all the way up to 20. Has pulled back, but looks to be trying to find some support in this 1550 area. 
So that may be a possible opportunity for this to continue running. Like I said before, this chart pattern is better than a lot of the other chart patterns at the moment. And it would take but another spike to see the 20 day break back across the 100. And 150 are getting very close. So the closer they get together, if buying comes in pretty strong, we could see waves make another move up, break through that 20 probably, and move on up to this 23 and a half area right here where it got held up before. So AMP, even though it pulled back, only pulled back to that seven and a half area. And you can see there's some strong support right through there where it was resistance back here and resistance here before the big U-shape break. So I had a nice rebound off of that 7.5 all the way up to 9.5. And it is currently making a little triangle, a little flag here on the four hour chart. So it is very close to having a breakout. If it breaks to the downside, it'll probably just hit the 50 day. The 50 day started uh, working on the chart now. But if it breaks out, we should see it back up to that 10 cent area pretty easy, maybe even over it. Like I said, I think this run is just starting on AMP. I think it's got a ways to go before it really slows down. So Cheese is now on Coinbase. If you have not looked into it, it's called Chili's. But the ticker is Cheese, C-H-Z. And I'm sure soon they'll probably be doing some of the earn crypto videos about cheese, chili cheese, whatever you want to call it. Dogecoin was making this triangle but cracked out of it. Dogecoin is looking extremely bearish. So it's holding up this last little area of support here. If it cannot hold this 28 cent area, we're going to see it drop back down to at least 25 but it could drop even lower because the next support after 25 cents would be around the 15 cent area right here. So if you're in Doge, you may want to be very, very careful with what we are currently seeing on this chart at the moment. Polkadot, of course, as soon as I start building a position, starts dropping, but that's fine. The lower it goes, the better my position will be. Still in this big triangle though. You can see the triangle there. It's come down and started testing the uptrend. We're getting kind of an indecision candle here. So I would expect a bounce off of this for polka dot. I think we'll see it back up to that 200 day here soon. This is a nice big consolidation triangle that if we stay in right now and don't drop out here, we could easily have a big rip out of this. So I'm going to keep slowly building my position on polka dot. And plus, with Voyager, you get that 8% interest. So, if you haven't checked out Voyager, go check it out. Link in the description. You sign up. We both get some free Bitcoin. Win-win, right? So, Matic still climbing up the trend line. It is below all the EMAs at the moment. This little pattern here, this little reverse U-shape. Let me blow this chart up so you can see it even better. This pattern right here on... A trend line like this bearish below all these EMAs normally would lead to a sell-off. I like to think of it as a bent fishing rod. If you got a big fish on the hook and it's so big that it's bending your rod like that, well your rod is going to snap and that fish is going to take off with the bait and the part, broke part of the fishing rod. It's like the fishing line is getting dragged down. So. This is very sketchy right now on Matic. But if Grayscale comes out with news that they're doing a Polygon Matic ETF, we could see this rebound very, very quickly. So I don't like this pattern at the moment. Buyers are pushing it up off the trend line. But I want to see what it looks like tomorrow if I really make any type of analyzation on this. So Scale has cracked its trend line, looking like it's going to continue to go bearish. This last little support area in this 27 is trying to hold up. Uh, I, if it doesn't hold up here, we could see scale back down to 23, maybe even 20 down here. So that's all the coins I'm going to cover tonight. Right now, overall, the crypto market is looking a little sketchy. We need to see some buying come in overnight into Sunday morning. 
and we need to see the stock market, U.S. stock market futures turn green Sunday night because if they start to turn red, then more than likely the market is going to have a pretty big pullback. So if there's any coins that I'm not covering currently that you would like me to cover, leave those in the comments below and let me know your thoughts about some of the coins I am covering as well. If you haven't yet, make sure you go sign up for the $50 Bitcoin giveaway. Link in the description. Appreciate everybody joining me as always. Stay safe out there. Until next time.